Welcome back my YouTube family. I'm your instructor. My name is Rashid and in this episode we are going to make a report where we can track the closing of the warehouse category wise and sub category wise as you can see on your screen. So without any delay let's get started. So first of all so I'm pressing control T from my keyboard make sure this option must be checked. Okay so this is my warehouse in table need to visit this table design and change the name of the table into warehouse in. Similarly, I'm going to my warehouse out. I'm copying this one, control T. Make sure this option must be checked. Going to table design and renaming its name to warehouse out. Similarly, I'm going to my customer, control T. My table has headers. These are my customers. Similarly, going to product, control T and renaming its name to product similarly going to supply it control t check this option okay and renaming the name of the table to supply so now i'm going to visit my power pivot and i'm going to load all of my these tables to the power pivot environment so add to model similarly i will be adding rest table to model Now I'm going to add the calendar table here. Going to home, diagram view and here I will connect all the tables with each other. So this is supplier, this is product, this is customer, warehouse out, warehouse in. So basically supplier, product, customer and calendar. These are my dimensional tables and warehouse out and warehouse in. These are my transactional table. If you are new on data modeling, then I will suggest you one of my playlist where I have described each and everything about data modeling in MS Excel. So if you want to learn that specific topic, you need to click on the right side corner as the link is waiting for you. So basically these are my transactional table. These are my unique tables and I have to connect the unique key, the foreign key from dimensional table to the transactional table. So with reference to this supplier, I will be connecting this supplier code. This is the supplier product code to item code and product code to item code then for customer customer code will be in this is my customer and date is here and date is here so we have successfully connected all of these tables with each other now we can assess data from anywhere now i'm going back to my data view and here i will making some dax calculations i need to calculate total in sum so this quantity is my in Okay, so now I'm going to calculate my total out sum. So my total out is in, in warehouse out table and this is warehouse table and I need to select this quantity. So my values are in warehouse quantity. Okay, so my in quantity is 4768 and my out quantity is 2565. So now I need to calculate my closing stock. So my closing stock will be total in minus total out. So my closing will be around 2203 cartons. So these are my some DAX calculation that I require to prepare my report. And I will be using all of these DAX calculations while I will be working on dashboards and other stuff. In future when I will need some more DAX calculations, I will be calculating here. So now I'm going to my this pivot table, pivot table and I will say him that I want it on my existing sheet. So I'm going to this report section and clicking this one. So basically I need my pivot table here. So I selected that column. Okay. So now all of my these tables are connected to each other with the help of data modeling. Now I can assess data from any table. So I need to prepare a report. So I will be selecting my product category and product subcategory and I need their stock in. So here I made these calculations total stock in total stock out and closing stock. I'm going to this design and show in tabular and repeat all. So successfully I have created this report where I can track 
the stock in stock out and the closing stock for the category and the sub category for example in accessories bags and luggage i received total 270 cartons at the beginning and i have dispatched 126 cartons to the market and rest 144 cartons are in warehouse for dispatch so the task of this particular episode was to prepare a report where I can track the closing stock for the products on the basis of category and subcategory. Even if you want to track this stock for the products, then you will select this item name from here. Bags and luggage, I have all of these products. Even if you want to add the product name in this, you can add. For example, here I'm adding the product name. Now it's showing in clothing men apparel i have two products so this is the way you can make a report and you can track your clothing so more what i will do on this i will be adding some slicers i'm going to insert from here slicers category subcategory year month city so now i will be adjusting my slicers as per the space i have here making the column to 3 category columns 2 accessories column 2 as well 2 making city columns 2 as well and from here I will remove these grid lines visiting this one auto hide ribbon so this is my final report now i can slice data with these slices so i'm just removing this city section because city section is only connected with out so now my this report is ready i can slice the data with reference to these categories with reference to these subcategories even with reference to the months if i want to see only data for october i can select from here for december i don't have sales right now so that's why it is not giving the data for december november in November, I received this this one and this one dispatched and the closing stock was 995. So my this closing report is ready. So the task of that episode was to prepare a report where I can track the closing stock with reference to the categories, subcategories and with reference to the months and years. So the task is done and in the next episode, we will be preparing a dashboard for sales. So this is all with reference to this episode and thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,